Hello everyone, I got Devin here with me today and we have something super cool to show you guys. Say hello Devin, please. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, so um, so this is a standard fusion project. I'm just gonna start, uh, we, we just did, so this scene here is just the, the basic scene setup, and we have uh, the basic player prototype that we can move around with a network transform, transform and so on. But I'll just press play here and start two shared mode clients. This also works on client server and everything, but I'm, we're, we're going to demonstrate with shared modes just because we can. So I'm starting two shared clients. So we're, we're going to have the characters spawning, but they have some surprise thing on them. Let's 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 start here. So what what are we seeing here, uh, Devin? F first, I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure we do something cool here, which is I'm gonna control one character in one machine, but I will disable the view of that machine, and I'm gonna disable the controls for the other machine. So basically, we're seeing what is on the display of client one, but I'm controlling the object that was spawned by client zero, just to demonstrate about receiving data. Devin, what are we yeah. seeing here? Uh, so this you added these, which is the uh, basically an in-game um, stats panel, and what you're seeing is that little meter flashy red and yellow shows that there's actual bandwidth coming from the network properties of that particular yeah. object, right? For that object, yep. Yeah. There are no RPCs firing, so right, you would see a count of uh, RPCs triggering there if this thing had any, but it doesn't. Yeah. Um, and then you can see an average bandwidth being used by that. In the bottom. In the views. Yeah, on the bottom. And and see yep. see also that it goes to zero if I'm not moving around. And yep. as soon as I start moving again, I see data being used again. Right? Cool. I can see yep. and we, if you expand we, the canvas. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And you can also notice there's a green back here on this guy, and this guy does not have it. This just indicates that you have authority over this object. Oh, that that guy on the back is the one that I have authority for. Yeah. Yeah, we're, but right now we're not enabled, so yeah, we're not moving yeah, that one. It's not enabled, but uh, we're interested in seeing the bandwidth that this guy is taking, which is yeah, the guy so coming the from proxy. the other machine. So we're seeing this proxy, and and uh, in client server, even your own object that you have input authority for will also have data. But uh, we're demonstrating this with shared mode here. So let's let's see if what happens if we click here. So in uh, what we're seeing here, Devin. Yeah, so this is a histogram basically showing the packet history for this. Right now it's mostly zeros because we sat there doing nothing. Yeah, we, we, can we reset sat by doing nothing for a long time. So so the histogram is saying that most of the time this guy is actually doing zero. So let's do something yeah, exactly. here. Let, let's let's move this to see the immediate tick. So what what is this here then? Okay, so this is just showing as traffic as it happens or as it arrives. Um, so how for many the bytes network properties, this guy is using? shows you tick yeah. by tick what just came in. So if you stop moving, you'll notice it stops progressing. Yeah, it starts zero again. And and I think if we start the history, if you switch to histogram again, we'll yeah, then, then it does clear the buffer. So yeah, if you go back to the histogram now, we can populate you'll see some pretty immediate. Yeah, we're populating it from scratch again, and then we can see the mean. Yeah. And yeah. so the numbers you see here is this is this is the zero scale, which you can see that's all the, the zeros. This is the um, the scale of this entire histogram. So yeah. any bars on this side will be 37 bytes. Yeah, and this just, is showing the actual traffic. Yeah, but, the yellow but, bar is the mean, which is gonna be the, the object or the- The most- uh, The data size that's the most frequent. Common. Yeah, to, to be clear yeah, exactly. here, to explain the histogram. So basically on the x-axis is the size of the data packets, packages for this particular object. And, um, and the Y is how many occurrences of that size you have. So the mean yeah, is very relative important. to all of the others. It's, it's yeah. constantly scaling because these numbers are obviously accumulating endlessly. Yeah, so. yeah, it's not the absolute value number of ticks. Yeah. So these these are quite quite nice views, and and you also always have these. And you're gonna add more stats as as we go, and we yeah, we still and have as Frederick has them all, I'll start including them. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool stuff. This is coming soon. It's not yet available in the nightly build. It's on still on a feature branch, but it's it's been polished to be added to the main SK very soon. So thanks a lot, Devin, for explaining and more importantly for developing this. Great stuff. Hope to see this soon in the SDK. Cool. Thank you. Bye bye.